Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can layer old maps on top of current maps in felt.com, a great collaborative mapping tool. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I have created a new map in felt. You'll find it at felt.com. And you can see I've titled my map Mapping Main Then and Now. And I want to overlay some historic maps on top of current views of Maine. So I'm going to first of all go up here to search for places and I'm going to put in Bethel, Maine. And so I'm going to zoom in right there on Bethel, Maine and I'm going to set that as my starting location for now. Now I'm going to go over to the USGS's Topo View tool and look for a historic map. In this case, I'm looking for Bethel, Maine, and I'm going to do my search there. And we'll see, it brings up a bunch of old maps for me, going back as far as 1914 and going all the way up through the 1940s and actually even further into 2021 if I want to. But I want to use this really old map from 1914. Now, first of all, right here in top of view, you can click on show and it will overlay automatically in top of view. But I want to eventually create my own map of then and now of a whole bunch of different places throughout Maine. So top of view won't work for that. Uh, although it is really cool to look at it and look at the transparency of it. You can see I can zoom in and it'll kind of show me then and now a little bit there with that transparency. But I want to get a copy of this map itself. So I'm going to download it as a JPEG file. And we'll see it's going to download in zip format. And so I need to extract the JPEG from that. And then I'll put that on felt com and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I've opened up that zip file and I'm just going to copy the JPEG to my desktop just so that I can quickly access it. I always remember where things are if I put them on my desktop. Now I'm in my felt.com map and I want to upload anything. Well in this case I'm going to upload that map that I just found using top of you. And so let's grab that map. There it is. And we'll see it's now overlaid, but it overlaid directly on the center of Bethel. So I'm gonna to need to move that around a little bit. I wanna make sure I'm lining that up really well here on the map. So to do that, Let's go ahead and make sure I've got my corners all set here. And now I'm going to move this map by just clicking and dragging. And I'm gonna zoom in a little more to make sure that my corners are correct. And I'm not 100% certain I've got them yet. So I'm gonna move that up a little bit more. You can see there, I can keep moving it until I've got it exactly where I want. You can see here, I can help myself out on the positioning by adjusting that transparency. And you can see there's a little better view. And now I'm actually a little bit closer in overlaying the map on the current view. And I'll keep adjusting that until I get it exactly the way I want it. I'm going to just title it quickly, Bethel 1914. So again, I'm going to have to keep adjusting it until I get it exactly where I want. But that's how I can overlay a historic map on top of a current view using felt.com. If I want to invite people to work on this with me, well, let's go over to our share and I can go ahead and invite someone to work on it with me. I might invite Mason to be an editor 
on this map. And for now, I'm going to keep this map private just between the two of us. So that's how you can overlay historic maps on current map views using felt.com. To learn more about felt.com, click the links in the description down below or visit freetechforteachers.com. And as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more things like